going on, y'all? It's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com. And just as I promised, I'm making this video to clear up any confusion as to why your old projects may be loading up in 1.7 with extra programs and extra program channels and such. Um, so let's get right into it. So first off, I'm sure everybody knows that um, in 1.7, uh, the mixer has been completely overhauled and the architecture has been completely changed from uh, 1.6 and previous. So as I mentioned in my 1.7 review, um, the audio actually no longer runs through the actual tracks anymore. Instead, we have these new program channels now that will handle all of the audio in 1.7. And because we no longer have audio running through the tracks, you'll notice in 1.7, you also no longer have track insert effects. So what that means is in 1.7, you can no longer put inserts on the actual tracks. All your insert effects will be handled on the actual program channels or on the pads as they, as they have in the past. So because of this, um, when, when you load your old projects in the 1.7, all of your track effects or your track insert effects will be completely missing. Um, so to remedy this, something had to be done to make sure that your projects load up in 1.7 and sound the exact same as they did when you made the beat in 1.6. So I'm going to go over exactly what happens when you load the old beat and why exactly it happens the way it does. To start off, um, here you can see I have 1.6 open and I have a project loaded that I did in 1.6. So here you can see how the project is supposed to sound. And here you can see that I pretty much have track inserts on all of my tracks. And not only do I have inserts on all of my tracks in this sequence, but I also have multiple sequences in this project that also have insert effects on them as well. And some of the sequences uh, have different effects on them that the other sequences don't um, for the same track. Uh, for example, um, here you can see and sequence two that my snare I have an extra emulation plug-in on it that I don't have in any of the other sequences so I basically put that there just um, for demonstration purposes to show what happens in 1.7 so not only can you have different um, inserts on the same tracks in different sequences but because the mixer wasn't unified in 1.6 and lower, these inserts are completely independent um, to each sequence. So, for example, this track 8, even though I have this same plugin on the same track in every other sequence, I can have different settings on this uh, plugin for this track in every sequence if I wanted to. And likewise, I can also have additional plugins on this track in this sequence that I don't have on this track in the other sequences even though it's part of the same beat. So what you need to keep in mind is that when I load this project in 1.7 these track insert effects have to go somewhere in order for my project to retain the original sound that I intended for it to have. So you might ask well why not just move this insert to the actual pad well, remember, these tracks aren't unified through every sequence, so I might have different settings on this insert. And I'm using this same pad in every sequence, so how is it going to decide which plugin to take and put on that pad if I have different uh, settings for this plugin in each sequence that all use the same pad? It wouldn't work that way. So what happens is each track that had inserts on it have its own program created. So 
when I load this project into 1.7, I'm going to get a new program created for each track that I have inserts on. So right now, I pretty much have this drum program here and a sample program, and I'm using these two programs only um, in all four of my sequences. Well, in 1.7, I'm now going to have a new program for this track. I'm going to have a new program for this track, a new program for this, 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 this. And then when that new program channel strip is created, these inserts are going to be moved um, to that new channel strip and the audio is going to run right back through these inserts. And that's going to happen for every track that has an insert on it. So each track is going to get a new program and a new path for the audio to root to now the reason you're getting so many new programs is again the track mixer in 1.6 is not unified they're different in every sequence so in order for every sequence to retain the sound that you meant for it to have each sequence is going to have to have its own programs for its own tracks because for the fact that I might have different plugin settings for these same tracks in a different sequence. So I'm going to need new programs to have those different pro those different inserts go to. So without further ado, I'm going to load the same project up in 1.7 and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So let's close this out. Okay. So I now have 1.7 open and I'm going to open up my project for the first time. It's going to tell me it's going to create a backup, okay? And right now it's doing this thing where it's creating all my uh, new programs that it needs. And here you can see all the new programs that um, the software analyzed that it needs to make. Um, and it's pretty simple the way they broke it down. Basically, this is telling me that for my drums program, I have a duplicate for... Um, track seven in sequence one I have a duplicate for track eight in sequence one I have a program duplicate for track nine in sequence one in track ten in sequence one and then in sequence two I have one for track six track seven track eight track nine ten and the same thing for uh, sequence three and sequence four so I'm just going to jump to the track mixer and uh, show you what we got going on here. So in here, the first thing you'll see is we got all our programs laid out. Um, the first thing I want to do here, just so we can uh, make this a little simpler. First, I like to turn that insert on. But the first thing I like to do just to make things a little simpler and easier to explain is I like to only set this to show only uh, used programs. Right now it's set to show unused programs. We don't want to see unused programs. We currently only want to see what's actually being used in this sequence so we can decipher exactly what's going on in this sequence alone. So I'm going to pull over my little screenshot that I took of the same project in the 1.6 mixer and we're just gonna go over what exactly happened here so what happens is um, you can see that uh, originally in 1.6 these five tracks here my snare kick Congo bongo and my tambourine those all originally went to this uh, first drum program this is my original pro drum program and this is my original sample program these are always kept and the way it works is the first track in the mixer that uses a program is going to be the one that's going to be assigned to the program that's kept so because this snare is the first track in this line here or in the mixer that use this drum program that's the track that was assigned to this program in this new sequence so duplicates were only made of this program for the remaining four um, tracks in this sequence. So that gives me my uh, my five new programs. I have the original and then I have the four duplicates that are for the remaining four tracks. So I hope that's easy to understand. Now, let me just show you exactly what happened here. So my snare track here. Originally, I had this SP. 1200 emulator on the track 
which was on this track. This program was uh, created into a new program strip in 1.7, and this insert here was moved to the new program for that snare track. So you can see this snare track is rooting out of the drums, which is going into this program track labeled drums. And the insert for that track was moved there. Now my kick track, I had my MPC emulator, uh, MPC 3000 emulator. You can see that the kick track is now rooting out of the drum program sequence one track seven program, which is here. And now this MPC emulator plugin was moved there to that program and then the same thing goes with the rest um, drum program sequence one track eight this is now rooting to this new program and the insert was moved there and the same thing for the remaining two tracks so basically each track now has its own program so I can now basically mix these channels the same exact way as they were in the old mixer so that is why you're having so many programs being created because remember this is only one sequence we're looking at i still have three other sequences um that were done the exact same way so basically that's what we're having being recreated here we're basically recreating our track chain in order to keep our original um, uh, sound of our project so we can just move this out of the way and uh, let's just check out the second sequence see what we got going on there now in this sequence you'll notice that um, this track had a uh, different program duplicated for it the reason is is because on this track i have an extra sample uh, a extra insert um that i didn't have on the first sequence so that was what i i mentioned that i put in there um for demonstration purposes to show you why this sequence needed to be separated from the first one Let's say I wanted to have di this snare sound different in this sequence than the rest of them. Well, because we no longer have track inserts, I need a separate program for that. And that's what happened here. So you'll notice that in this, pr in this uh, sequence, the original drum program is not used because the snare in this program or in this sequence um, got a new program created it didn't utilize the original however the sample is still using the original sample uh, program because this track was the same in both sequences one and two and then uh, the the uh, other four sounds they got their new programs for this uh, sequence so let's check out sequence three Okay, so now for the snare, we have our original drum program back. That's because this snare track in sequence one and three uh, use the exact same um, settings. So you're probably wondering why, you know, this sequence, sequence one and three was able to re retain that original uh, uh, program channel while for every other sequence the remaining four samples got their own programs duplicated even though the uh inserts might have been the exact same well that's because that keeping that original um program only works for the the first track in the chain it's always gonna create duplicates for the remaining tracks whether the inserts have the same settings or not that's just the way it works um so yeah and then let's, we can analyze the fourth one and and here you can see now that the sample track now has its own program duplicated or created because on this sequence I had a J37 plugin on my sample track that I didn't have in any other sequence So that basically explains the whole thing. Um, 
and and basically where your inserts went and why you now have so many plug-in uh so many programs showing up in when you open up your old projects 